I'd like to welcome you to this video. In this lesson, we'll discuss a number of topics that will help you know how to work with templates. So without further ado, let's dive in. So let's talk about template documentation. So each template from Zero Code comes with its own documentation. And we highly recommend that you have a look at this documentation because it will help you know how to easily use and modify your template. And before purchasing a template, it's important to know which type of license will best suit your needs. For example, there is a standard license. And this license is ideal if you want to purchase a template for your own business. And there's also a developer license. And this license is ideal if you are perhaps a bubble agency or bubble developer and you want to build an app for another client. So let's now talk about how to purchase a zero code template. So you can head over to zerocode.com and under the build menu tab, you can click on templates. And then on the templates page, you can simply click on the template that you want to purchase and install. So just for example, let's say we want to purchase this Head Start Pro template. So we can click on that. And as you can see here, we can purchase this template through a standard license or a developer license. And we can also click on this button to learn the difference between these two types of licenses. So when we click on that, the page scrolls down to the frequently asked questions. And when we click on this particular question, we can see the answer to the difference between the standard and the developer license. And for additional information, we're also given this link that redirects us to the bubble marketplace policies. And on this page, we're also given further information about these two types of licenses. And before purchasing a template, it's always a good idea to have a look at the web demo. And you can do that by clicking on this button here. So the template demo gives you an opportunity to test out the app and learn its functionality. So you can check out the different pages and features to really determine if it's something that you're looking for. So it's always recommended to check out the template demo. So let's now see the actual process of buying a template. So let's say we want to purchase the Head Start Pro template through the standard license. So we can click on the buy button and you can see that we are presented with additional offers. And through this offer, we can convert this template into an iOS or an Android app with 10% off. And this second offer gives us lifetime access to no code courses with 20% off. So if you wish, you can select on any of these offers, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just continue by clicking the checkout button. And as you can see, we have been redirected to a bubble hosted page so that we can finalize our purchase. So on the license type drop down, you can just confirm the license that we wish to select. And then we can also insert a coupon code if we have one. And then we can proceed to purchase this template by clicking on the buy now button. And finally, we are redirected to this page where we can insert our payment details in order to confirm the purchase. So that's how you can go about purchasing a template. And if for some reason you experience some issues after you have purchased your template, for example, you may not see the purchase template where it should be. In such cases, please do reach out to Bubble Support and you can attach some screenshots as proof that you have purchased the template. And you may also attach some screenshots that indicate where the problem is. Please note that all refunds and payment related issues need to be settled with Bubble since we are just publishers. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I won't be actually purchasing a template. Rather, I'll just go ahead and install this free template called Toski. But the process of installing a free template and a premium template is quite similar. But the only difference with the free template is that obviously we won't need to insert payment details. So on this template page, I'll just go ahead and click on get it free. And then I'll click on checkout. And then again, we are redirected to a bubble page in order to finalize the installation. So I'll just click on use now. And then we are given this confirmation that this template is now yours. You'll be able to see it when you create a new app. So we can go to my apps. And as you can see, we are shown this pop-up where we can create a new app. And this dropdown contains the template that we just selected. So after we have completed all these fields, our new app will be created using this template. 
But let's say for example that you do not immediately set up your new app using this template and the next time you log into Bubble, you don't see the app that has your newly purchased or installed template. So since we didn't actually complete the setup of creating a new app using the template that we just got, we won't see the app here. So all we have to do is create a new app since we didn't finish the setup the first time. And then on this drop down, just ensure that the template that you just installed or purchased is selected. And then you can continue completing all these fields to create your new app using this template. And then after you've done that, click on create a new app. And then finally, we are taken to the bubble editor. And if you want, you can click on let's get started to continue with the application assistant. But for this tutorial, we'll just close the assistant by clicking on this button. So let's now talk about how to install a plugin in a pre-built app template. So installing a plugin in a template is pretty much the same as installing a plugin in any other bubble app. So all you have to do is come to this plugins tab and then click on this button that says add plugins. And then on this pop-up, you can find the plugin that you're looking for by using the search box, or you can use the filtering options here. So just for example, let's just say that we want to install a plugin that helps us to display charts on the page. So we can simply type in chart. And as you can see, we have some relevant results. So here, let's say we want to install this chart element and we can see that the publisher is actually bubble. So to install it, you can simply click on install and it will be installed within your app. And then we can click on done. And here we can see additional information about this plugin. We have a description here, and we also have the plugin content box, which basically informs us of the types of elements or actions that this plugin comes with. And we can see that this plugin simply comes with a line or bar chart element. And if you wish to uninstall a plugin, simply click on this button that says uninstall this plugin, and it will be uninstalled. But you can see that currently we already have these pre-installed plugins within this template because this template utilizes these plugins. But Bubble also has premium plugins within its marketplace. So let's say, for example, we want to have a plugin that allows our users to sign in with Apple. So Zero Code actually has a premium plugin for that. So we can type in sign in with Apple. And then this plugin appears. And all we have to do to install it is to click the buy or purchase button. And then we simply need to insert our payment details in order to install this plugin. So that's basically how you can install a plugin within a pre-built app template. So let's now talk about bubble plans. So your app will have certain features depending on the bubble plan that your app is running on. And those features are nicely laid out for us right here. So bear in mind that some features are not available on a template because of a bubble plan. And just to mention some of these features, we can see that some plans give you the ability to add capacity and some plans allow you to run scheduled workflows on a monthly basis or on a daily basis. Another big one is file storage. So this obviously limits the number of files that your app can contain. So obviously the more file storage your app has, the more files your app will be able to store. So if you want to know more about a certain feature, please go and have a look at Bubble's documentation for more information. So let's now talk about template versions. So as time goes by, your template may get a new update or a new fix. And you can look out for new updates through the following steps. And bear in mind that these steps are the same for each and every template. So all you have to do is to go to the documentation page of the template that you have installed in your Bubble app and then once you're here, you want to scroll down and then you want to click on release notes. And here you will see a list of updates that have been made to the template or the documentation. But you may be wondering, how do you go about updating the template that you have installed in your app? Well, one thing to bear in mind is that as these updates are being released, it doesn't mean that your app gets automatically updated. So if you want your own app to use the updated or latest version of the template, then you will have to create a new application using the updated template. And you can create a new application by going to a user dashboard within Bubble 
and then clicking on the new app button. And then once you're here, you want to select the template that you purchased or the one that you have installed. So there's actually no way to update your current version of your app because otherwise you will lose all the modifications that you made to the template so far. So that's why you need to create a new app using the latest version of the template. And as more updates get released, you can create an unlimited number of applications using the same template. And in case you face any issues with the template and you need more help, please feel free to contact our support team. We take responsibility for fixing bugs related to the initial template's functionality, but not to the user's customization. Also, we provide general guidance on the product after the purchase if the demo page and support documentation is not enough. And you can reach out to us using our email, which is support at zerocode.com. But hopefully this lesson has helped you understand how to work with templates. So let's go to the next one.